Hello, what is up? So I thought I'd uh, actually comment when uh, I see something I discovered on this, but most of these videos actually speak for themselves. So I've put the, at the top right, I'll put the average FPS. So at the end of each run, that is what it was, like an average of whatever. But there is a few things I want to talk about, like the differences between Windows and Linux and why I would definitely still favour Windows and this is just for me and uh, again I'm not biased to Windows I'm not biased to uh, Linux I just literally use the operating system which benefits mostly what I want to do as a gamer that's all it is so because I, I know a lot of people say just go Linux uh, like it's better overall but for me I haven't found that and uh, for example there was a few games I wanted to test between Linux and Windows and a couple of them just simply wouldn't work. First Descendant was one of them. It just, it's because it's any cheat. A lot of these, like if you're an eSports player, I would not recommend going to Linux. Um, but then it will suit some people. So again, it's very dependent on the games you want to play. And I know Windows, definitely Windows does have some annoying issues and I just sort of manipulate it and get around it but I definitely feel as a gamer there is going to be more issues on Linux but again I'm not I'm not gonna it's not like I'm gonna hate on Linux I, I call it down the line as always so in the end I only managed to do four games like testing Windows versus Linux and I did want to do a couple more but in the end it literally took me most of the day just to try and get Linux I mean I am unlucky with this sort of thing, but then I tried uh, Kazan, was it the first Berserker Kazan, I couldn't load it up, whatever I did on the Linux, I was trying different Protons, and in the end, because that game has the new vote, now I, I'm actually banned for 24 hours, just, I can't even access my own, <laughs> I can't even play my own game on Steam for 24 hours, because they think I'm tampering with their game, so, but that is from me trying to get it to work on Linux and uh, it's, you're gonna run into issues like that unfortunately and uh, I, I could I mean I, I need to tell the truth on this channel because again people say just go Linux it's gonna be great but as I do on this channel I like to give you the full picture so it's gonna suit some people I mean it depends it literally depends I mean if you like Battlefield <laughs> you would have to play on Windows there is no chance of that working on Linux. Any EA game, I mean FC26, or even now I'm done with that game, there is other games that just simply won't work. So the first Ascendant, uh, for, for some reason, I tried to load up Dying Light 2. I thought that would work, but it wouldn't work. So it just kept, I would load it up. I tried all the different protons. I thought one might work. So it's going to be a bit like that, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, this game worked great, Expedition 33, and there was there was a 10 FPS difference, so Windows was faster on that. Um, I think uh, right at the end of this video, it was actually a tyre, so we'll get into that when we see it. But, yeah, I mean, it work, if it works, it does seem to work really well, uh, the games on Linux. So, there is advantages, I mean, it is a snappier operating system when you compare it to Windows but it's not all smooth sailing because um, a lot of people I've spoken to in the past do tend to give you that impression that it is just better than Windows but as a gamer it, that is definitely not the case when I explore when I look into it myself and uh, that is the reality so I mean I know for, for, for me definitely for me it's, uh, it's something I'll look at. I'm, I'm hoping it gets better with the anti-cheat games because that is a big issue for me as a gamer because there is a lot of games with anti-cheat that I like to play with mates and uh, I literally can't play them on Linux whereas on Windows I can't. So as a hardcore gamer, I'm a hardcore gamer. I like uh, access to all the games Every game I can get hold of, I like access, and uh, there is a lot of games like Xbox Game Pass. I don't believe I can access like Outworlds 2 and the other games, Call of Duty. I think 
even on even if you go on Steam, like say for example, FC twenty six won't work. So that is the issue. So you need to be aware that if you're considering like moving from Windows like fully, my suggestion is actually to either dual boot and then just have Windows and Linux on a separate drive or whatever. Uh, I did have some issues with that, actually a dual boot. So what I do, I, I just bought pullable hard drives, sand disks, and they're really fast. I paid uh, about hundred and twenty pound or something for two of them, and then I just run Linux Cache OS on one, and then on the other I just literally install my games on that, and I just plug it in via USB, and it works great. So that is what I'd recommend doing if you wanted to try Linux out. But as far as like leaving Windows, no, that is a uh, for me anyway. That is out of the question. But then definitely, again, I'm not I'm not gonna rage bait Linux users because I respect them, and I wanna just like literally stick to the truth as I do with AMD and Nvidia. I share my experiences, and I think it helps people make a decision on what they want to do. So this is the reality for me, as I've said. Uh, there's differences, but as I said previously, FSR 4 support does seem a lot better, um, where you can just enable it through the Mango HUD. Now you, you can just literally enable up to scale up. So I found that to work pretty well for the most part, but then uh, in Stalker it didn't seem to work, Silver 2. So I had to test FSR 3.1 against 3.1 on Windows just to make it a fair test. And then, for some reason, because in that game it says 3.1, and uh, I literally missed that, and it was enabled, but it was actually frame generation enabled. So, I had to test frame gen on as well. So, to make it fair, I've done the same on Windows, because i literally already done the video. Uh, but, yeah, that is, uh, so it's just FSR 4. All these videos are FSR 4, and Windows versus Linux using FSR 4. All Ultrawired 1440p, but the only one that has a FSR 3.1 will be Stalker with frame generation enabled. So that is the best I could do on that. Again, it was pretty time consuming because uh, I've had to inst I didn't have no games installed on Linux, so I had to literally install a game. Three or four just weren't working, and uh, it's either weren't working with FSR 4 or they just wouldn't load up. And I did uh, update all the protons, so that is, a, that is a main frustration I find with Linux. It, um, it just doesn't always seem to work on the games I want to test or play, but um, it's getting better, so that is a good thing. And hopefully Valve finds a way to get these anti-cheat games running. Uh, so there is a website for actually. I think it is uh, called Are oh, We Anti-Cheat Yet? think if you type that in google and then it shows you all the games that actually work on linux for anti-cheat but for the games i like i know they're not working like battlefield 6 and etc so that is the main reason why i prefer windows and uh, there's some other games as well but um yeah so windows pretty much wins in every game apart from the last game which is silent hill f so it's gonna. It looks like will be very dependent on the game, but I think with Windows they got the most support, for especially for FSR four. And the other thing I noticed in the Stalker two Linux uh, comparison video, I noticed the CPU usage was going very high, and it didn't look like it was optimized at all. Uh, and whereas on the Windows video, it actually is. So on that game, I know there was some CPU issues on that game, but that was a bit worrying to me that like, if I was just on Linux, I don't know if it would be sort of making my CPU to or whatever. So there's going to be issues like that. Um, so again, I, I'll just got to show you the negatives and positives. The positives are that definitely when a game works, it, is, it does feel quite... I mean, very smooth. Um, I know Windows is more bloated than Linux. So I think if you can get, like, literally get a game working, it's going to be pretty much 
smooth as long as the proton's working. Um, the other thing I found that is when I connect my Xbox controller, it doesn't work straight away. And that is, I do use a Xbox dongle, which is a Microsoft product. And I did update the firmware. But what I found is you, you literally have to plug the lead in first. And I seem to have to do this most times just to, just to get my USB to work to like communicate with my xbox controller so that is one thing that is another difference i find which is a bit fiddly and can be a bit annoying if you don't know what you're doing but now i know how to do it i've literally know what to do to fix it so but on windows it just literally works i just have to install it once so there's going to be issues like that but um if you're an experienced linux user and you know how to get around the issues Again, I think Windows is more of a user-friendly, sort of seamless experience, even though you get some annoying issues with their stupid updates, breaking drivers. So it depends what you want to put up with, really. Um, I think, as I said, the biggest thing for me is some games I simply can't play, whatever I do. So that is the issue. But then uh, this one seems to be a lot better with frame generation on. And as you can see, the CV usage and the GPU usage is just not very consistent at all, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So it would worry me a bit, um, but I think what it could be possibly is a... Uh, maybe there's been a game update for this, I believe, and maybe it's mucked up the Linux uh, optimization for it with the Protons. But um, I know on Windows you've got a game bar which actually schedules all the Ryzen CPUs and all that, so it helps on each game because each game has basically got a optimization certain so maybe it's that so on windows it's just running fine on it so see so you'll see it it won't go up to 80 percent or anything like that and it is just literally a hundred percent or 99 percent something like that so that is a difference I noticed there, and then I'm just getting better freight. I mean, because of the usage was dropping on the 97 XT, that was definitely probably affecting the FPS. So, again, uh, I'm not sure why that was happening, but it's obviously something to do with optimization for this game. So you do get game updates, and I know on the... Obviously, uh, certain games, sometimes they can break protons. So, I mean, when you look at FIFA FC26, they can barely optimise that for Windows <laughs> in the latest one. So it's not running well. And then, so they, they literally won't support Linux at all. They've got no interest in that. So, as I said, it's not for everyone, Linux. But then, uh, I know a lot of people like it and fair play to them if it suits what they want to do. But definitely, before, I, as I said, if you uh, run Windows and you're thinking about switching, I would literally not, I would literally try out first, do what I've done. Just use some portable hot, like SSDs or whatever, and then uh, I've got some MVMEs, which are really fast, and I've got them off Amazon, and that's literally what I run it on. So yeah, I do, there's things I like about Linux. I like the simplicity of it when it works. Like it's a lot faster as a operating system, and uh, I really do want it to get better. To get, I mean, if if they could literally figure out, because it worries me a bit with a Steam machine, because like a lot of people are gonna want to play like football games, any cheat games like Battlefield Six and all that on the Steam machine, and it makes me wonder how they're gonna do that with a uh, steam os because uh i don't know it will be interesting to see how they get around that because at the moment because when i tried to load up first ascendant it come up uh there is no any cheat on this platform and then it just literally locked me out of the game so it would have loaded the game up but then uh 
I did look into it. Apparently, it was working at some point in that game, but then it broke again. So it's constantly breaking with updates, and that gets updated a lot, that game. But on this game, it literally tied. So it was an average of 79 FPS at the end of the run. So that was impressive that Linux is actually matching Windows on this game, and he actually had FSR4 on as well. So I used OptiScale up. So that worked very well with Mango HUD. Very smooth. There was actually a lot of stutters on this game on Windows when you get so far into it. So it could be worth, like, if I want to actually get around to playing this game, or I've literally only just been testing it. If I run into some stutters, I might actually try on Cache OS Linux and then see if I still get them stutters. So that would be a video for the future, but I would be interested to see. So, obviously, they're, di they're different operating systems, so there's got to be a difference somewhere in certain games, like we've seen. And this was the Windows run, and at the end of it, it was literally the same average FPS. So that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.